If you have this cup and you want to lock the top, there is many ways how to do that. In this video, I will show you how to design 3D printed lock mechanism. There is many different locks for different uses. By watching this video, you will be able to design a lock and you can use it in the right place. We can start with the join lock. This kind of locks it's more common in kitchen, especially with the food containers. I designed that in Fusion from two different bodies. On the top body, there is a channel from the downside that can fit inside the body. I try to show you maybe better view that you can see it. There is some kind of channel that you will join two bodies and it will press that. It's so tight that's what it makes it some kind of lock. If you need to open the lock, you just need to pull up the top. Maybe it's better to show you by doing. After printing these two different bodies, to lock this bus, you just need to take the top and press it that the body can fit inside. To open the lock, you just need to pull up the top. Just when you design that, you should to make sure that you will let some kind of edge outside that it's more easy to open it. You can see it here more clear. I use a TPU filament to print the top body that make it more flexible. Because every time when you open the container, you will bend the top. That's why we need flexible material. This kind of lock is more common in kitchen because you can keep liquid inside. Easy to open and easy to close. Not like thread lock that you should turn and turn and turn to close and open. But of course thread lock it's more safer. I designed this thread lock from inside the box. Of course you can design it from outside. Here you can see it more clear that it's from inside. I will show you even more better view. So you can see that there is a thread, but just you should to make sure about tolerance. I did an offset face 0.2, so both sides because it's circular, so it's 0.4. After printing other bodies, we can check the thread tolerance that if it fits inside. You can see the thread inside and outside. We just need to try that. We turn it and it works so good. We can find thread lock in many uses, especially in medication. And there is some kind of lock that you should to press and turn the thread that you can open it. It's more difficult for the kids to open the bottle when no one sees. One month ago I found old lamp at work. You can see here there is a lock mechanism what it uses in lamp. So when you turn the circle what it's in middle, you can open and you can close it. I used the same lock mechanism to design that. Just I have add few things because 3D printing it's different process. So I designed thing to be 3D printed. You can see it here more clear that the lock it will fit inside when you turn the circle. So you can see here the lock. So just when you turn it, it will go inside. And when you turn it back, it will lock. Then I was need to hide the lock mechanism. So I created some kind of cup on the top. And I used this snap fit lock. We will talk about it later. So you can see it here. Also this lock there is a hole that where it goes inside so it's both sides so i will explain more by doing after printing our bodies we just need to install the lock mechanism inside you can see here the snap fit then we just need to connect the parts we take the circle and we connect it with this two sides then we put it inside we try to bend that then we just we put the top to cover this lock mechanism after that we just need to test our lock mechanism how it works and it works perfectly you can see it from the back side might be better so you can see open close you can use this lock mechanism in boxes lamps 
or other things. I think it works so good. Easy to open and easy to close. Also, we can use snap fit lock mechanism. There is many different kinds of snap fit. You find it in a remote control, box locks, buckles, and a lot of other things. I designed this snap fit lock mechanism. Designed from two different bodies. So we have one, what is on the top? It's like male and female. So you can see it here. And there is on the top that where you can put your finger that you pull it up. So I try to show you here. So you can see there is male and female that what it fit. It will make like some kind of click snap. After printing two different bodies, you can see it here. There is male and female. That's what it's fitting inside. You just place the top and you press it that it will snap. You can hear some noise. And it works so good. Then easy to open. Just you pull it up and open it. In this design, I used the magnetic lock. So that you create a hole that you will put magnet in, inside from the top and bottom body. So I try to show you more here. So you will create holes. And you put a magnet there. So you can use glue. There is many methods how to put, do that. You can see here there is a hole. We just need to put super glue and we put drop in every hole. So we try to do that carefully. Then we just put a magnet. You can use fingers or use something to push the magnets inside that you don't get glue on your fingers. So I try to use this cutter. Or even you can use your fingers. Then we repeat same process on the other body. There is many ways how to add magnet to 3D printed part. But just I use this method like you can see it and it's more easier I think so. So we continue putting magnets. And you just need to be sure that you put the right side of magnet that it stick. So you don't put the wrong side. So after finishing that, we just need to try it. And it works. I have designed gear lock mechanism. We can see it here. It's made from different bodies. You can hide that. So you can see it here more clear. It's made from rack and pinion. So when you rotate the pinion, that everything it will turn. You can see there is a rail there, it guide. Then there is a break. So when you rotate the gear, it will stop there as a break. You can see it here. And I designed the same thing, snap fit lock for the top. Also this black handle, what it's shape of diamond. So you can do whatever you want. You can see here this snap fit. So it's female and male, what it fit there. So we have this body and we, I try to explain more by the way. After painting our parts, now we need to install the parts. You can put this right gear. Then we install the second one. Then we have this pinion. We put in the middle. There is there that it can rotate. So you put it, you push it, that it will fit. So now you can see the mechanism. It works so good. Like when you rotate, it will open and close and there is a locks there here you can see it from back then we just snap the top so we try to cover this mechanism 
it snap fit it will click there then just we add a handle to that you can put a little bit of glue just i want to confirm that it's work you can see it here it work open and close then we just need to try it on the box you can design whatever you want just you have get the idea of mechanism and then it's up to you how to design that I designed this spring lock mechanism so you can see it from here that we will use spring to lock so I will show you better you can see here that there is this lock it's free to move and that and we will put spring between these two bodies so and we created the a hole that spring can fit there so it's much easier and this lock it will fit inside the body there is many ways how to design spring lock just I took that as example just to show you the idea and you can do it how you want after that we just need to print three different parts you can see the spring it's here depends what size you use and this lock hole it's there so we just put these two bodies we just need to force that it go in then we put the spring between these two bodies so until it fit inside the hole while it fit you can see now it's working we just try it so just it always it's pushing the bodies locks out so you need to push that it goes in in the end we did this twist lock mechanism so you can see it here that there is channel it's like L channel and on the top there is a lock there so it fit and you will twist to lock it so you can see it here you just need to turn and to open it then you lift it up You can see it here more clear, this channel. Then you just take the top, you push it inside, then you twist it. So you can see it. And easy to open, easy to close. I hope this video that it can help you to design better lock. Thank you and see you again for the next video.